Hi, everyone. I'm Sima, joined here by Raha. We are co-founders of Soluxify, and we are software engineer, design and development veterans. I am a homeowner, and our journey started when I decided to go solar. At first, I was very excited, but then we were hit by the long list of solar installers on Google, Yelp, and solar reviews, and almost all of them had five stars. <laughs> I clicked through the links anyways. Almost every time, I was left with a form to leave my contact information on, or take the more proactive approach of calling an 800 number myself. The next day, I was flooded with phone calls. Every single time, I had to explain to them where my home is, what I need, what I'm interested in, what my budget is, lots of questions. And almost none of them could give me the product details I need, such as the spec or the manufacturers. All this time, I was thinking, this is 21st century, and I am online. Why can't I just go to a website that gives me all the information I need, helps me compare this data, so that I can make a decision right then and there? For instance, if I want to remodel my home, I can go on a website such as House, interact with the community, get ideas, get the help from the community and the, and the professionals, and it basically makes upgrading and remodeling my home a fun activity in my household. Why can't we have the same type of experience for going solar? So basically browsing through the internet, there was, there was a few websites that tried to address the same issue, such as Energy Sage and Pick My Solar, but their approach was a bit different. What they're trying to do is to sit between homeowners and installers and only connect the ones that they see fit. As a homeowner, how can I know that they're actually exploring all my options for me and they're connecting me to the ones that make, makes most sense based on my budget and not theirs? Just to make sure that this is a shared pain, we ran a quick poll on Facebook with 200 participants, mostly aged between 20 to 40. 65% of them said that they would rather go on a centralized website that gives them all the information, helps them make a comparison so that they can make a decision on their own, rather than only 27% that wanted someone else to make this big decision for them. So that's when Selexify was born. Selexify is the next generation of customer and partner relationship management through empowering and building the online solar community. Selexify aims to connect everybody on the solar industry and give them the right tools so that they can perform the tasks they need. So for instance, right now, you can go on Selexify, post any solar ideas, updates, that is going on in your neighborhood, share it instantaneously with the rest of the community. Have them follow you, like you, comment on your ideas, and basically interact and get excited and educated about solar industry. So let's see how we can interact on Selexify. Imagine that I am a homeowner, and Raha is a solar installer. As a homeowner, I can go on Selexify and create a solar project describing where my home is, what type of rooftop it has, and attach a few photos. Then publish this project to Solar to Selexify. This project can be viewed by all the installers in this community, and then, and then they can go ahead and make a bid on it. So, let's say Sima... <laughs> okay, so, let's, see, let's say Sima published the project. I as a solar installer, will get notified that there is opportunity in my local area. So I go online and take a look at the project. On top of the project's page, I can see all the details that I need. If there is something missing, I can go ahead and ask a question right there on the same page. 
After going back and forth a few times with Sima, and hopefully got all my questions answered, I can go ahead and confidently make a bid on, the, on this project. One of the great tools that Solaxify provides for both of us as an installer and homeowner is the ability to use the live tracking system to, to, to track and monitor the progress of the solar installation. Another great tool that Solexify provides for a solar installer is the ability for me to find partners and invite them to join my team so I can use that team to bid on the various different projects. Now I'm going to hand it over to Sima to continue. Solexify just launched its beta version last week. We're planning to connect solar installers in our hometown of Irvine, California to local schools and young homeowners. Then we will expand to rest of California. In the first 18 months, we're not planning to monetize this platform. We want the community to get established, grow, and mature. We want to study this community, get their feedback, and see what kind of tools and apps they need to flourish on this platform. After this, after this period of time, we will be generating revenue through sponsored links and advertisement on search results page. We can also have premium subscription model for installers that are interested. So Lexify has been me and Raha's project, weekend project for the past four and a half months, and we're planning to expand. So please join us to spread the word on Selexify. Thank you. Question? Uh, I think it was such an efficient pitch that I missed a little bit just on the model. So it's basically, is it like a reverse auction? You're, you're publishing your information publicly and saying, please everyone come and bid on my project effectively? That's right. We want to encourage homeowners to basically state what okay. they need is. And we want to have an open platform. We don't want to filter any installers and not give them a chance because they can't afford it. And basically, we want everybody to be as eager as to compete with the rest of the installers. But are you, so do I have to put my precise address on, into the system? Um, so having the precise address is not a necessity. Right now, we do have requirement for city and state so that they can make an assessment on the locality. Um, but basically, we want to get the feedback of the installers. So we launched the beta version last week, and we're in contact with 20 installers right now, basically seeing that what it is that they need. And then the homeowner sees the responses in the website. In other words, you don't get all those annoying phone calls or whatever. You just go to one place and you see the responses. Is that the idea? Absolutely. We want to basically have this platform be as lean as possible. We want the community to interact with each other and figure out how they can resolve something like this and get it working you know, together. Think of lead gen companies. You know, they might push you to buy their package even though you know, it's not my, it might not be suitable for you. So you know, we want to remove that. So, but, but eventually you would make money through lead gen, is that? Um, actually, no, we're not planning to make money off of lead gen because that will eventually um, make us want to filter some of the installers. So we're not planning to do that. And you know, the thing about lead gen is that having that added layer means that I'm not gonna be connecting some of the installers based on my profit, profitability. And that money that lead gen get, gives to the middleman ultimately goes out of the homeowner pocket. So we want to absolutely remove that. Uh, so um, let me see if I have this correct. It reminds me of this film. <laughs> Um, about this fellow Zuckerberg who got this social network that did pretty well, and um, I assume you're going to be a s basically in principle a social network across between sort of um, Facebook for solar and uh, Craigslist for solar. Is that about where you're going to be? Um, that's a very good example. We want to have an open social platform for solar community. Um, the the 
The platform for Facebook, though, is that they're not really focused on one business. They're very open. We want to focus on homeowner, on people that need PV installation. And then later on, solar cars, solar gadgets, things like that. So we are a little more focused on that. So how do you help the homeowner to pick one of the bids? Like there could be too many coming to me as a homeowner. There could be too many questions and interactions. So how am I, how am I gonna, how are you gonna help me to digest that? So one feature that we do already have is the ability to ask any questions on the same page. So if I am not sure what the panel is going to be, where the panel is made or where the products, what the product spec is or what the warranty is, I can ask questions on this comment sections. So anybody can go on this part, you know, an installer can ask a question about, for instance, when the building was built or vice versa, the homeowner can ask questions. So this is the feature that we already have, but definitely we will need to add um, some apps and um, basically tools so that they can make a side-by-side -side comparison of the bids that they're getting. So the good thing about the platform that it has a lot of potential to add in the apps that the community needs. All right, thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.